left off last time. And now it's time for me to explain a little bit more. Now a console is a class. Um, a class contains several things. Uh, properties, uh, functions. Now right line is a function within the console class that allows you to write a line to the console window here's your string now I should probably explain more about types that's what they're called there are several different types um, you have your int let me put this in a comment by the way if you want to make a comment which is a line that is ignored by the compiler which means you can type anything you want put two forward slashes so here we go you have your string int long double care car whatever you want to call it bool um, float uh, there's more it's just I can't really think of them off the top of my head now what a string does um, here we go let's let's name our first variable string my string you always have to name your variables so you can reference them later equals hello world sorry early in the morning now anytime we reference my string hello world will be what is displayed my string aha uh -huh. mm -hmm. so there you go my string can hold a string which is essentially anything you can type between two quotes all right now let's do a number generally when you're using numbers you want to use int however int um, are whole numbers old only which means you can't have 4.5 in an int but if you're gonna use uh, if you're gonna use whole numbers then an int would probably be good because it can go up to I believe 32,000 oh yeah about 32,000 in case you need to use bigger numbers I'll ex um, show those kinds of types later but int my int equals there we go. Then let's make it write another line. Console dot write line. My int. And what happens? So, if you tell it to display the value of a variable, well, it will. Now, in case you want to do. Um, decimal numbers you will want to use a float for smaller numbers or a double for larger numbers I believe there's one in between them which I cannot remember at this moment um, so let's just show you what's that like double my double equals one point ah I got it three point one four yeah so let's get console dot right line I'm pretty sure you guys are used to typing that my double so if you tell it to write the variable name it will give you the variable value four would you look at that and let's see the last 
major uh, um, variable that you'll need to know is bool my bool equals false. Now bool is kind of special. It can only take two values, true or false. Um, stands for boolean, I believe. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, there you go. You have just learned your basic uh, types. That are, that's what they're called. These blue ones right here. In the next lesson, we will most likely move on to looping and iteration which you will learn uh, quite easily it's very simple and I'll see you later